So the FOMC came out yesterday and, or, or should I say last night, and obviously they raise rates, I think to zero. <laughs> they raise rates to zero. Um, that sounds pretty crap, right? That sounds pretty weird, doesn't it? So anyway, guys, well, let's have a look at the charts and see what the charts are telling us. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, so what we're looking at here now on the S&P 500, we can see we had a nice sort of 1.4% rally to the high side and we can see we sort of had a nice rally here. And one thing I do say, guys, is that we're definitely not out of the woodworks yet. So, but we are sort of gaining strength on this move. One thing I do say is that it does look like this sort of rally is, is starting. And, and I go back to like the last couple of years. And if I go back to, let's just go back to say two days, like a two day and see if I can go back to, yeah. So you can see here, if I go back to November, and you can see sort of halfway through, uh, this is December 2013, this looks really, yes, if you go back to December 2013, you can see we had, no, that's not it there. Let's go back here. Well, let's just go back to last year because I can't go back that far. We can see uh, October, we had a rally. December, you can see the December came down through here. And it's really interesting that last year, we even had a, a drop down to the 16th slash 17th. And 17th, we had a rally up into the end of up into the end of the year. And then we had sort of a pullback through there. So what I'm looking at here, guys, is I'm looking at sort of something very, very similar here, as you can see. So we can see on the charts, we had this rally to the high side, nice reversal bar rally to the high side. So it may continue, it may continue running right back up towards the top of this resistance here and maybe even go to new highs. So, but we are still in the overall lower peaks and lower troughs. So that's what's showing on there. On the Dow Jones, same thing, but the Dow Jones looks a lot more, a lot more bullish because it's almost at its highs uh, for this double top. So if it breaks that, then we're in, so we're in good steeds for, for more up, good sort of move for more upside. Looking on the Russell, the Russell, the same. The Russell is a lot more weak. You can see it's actually at this area, getting very, or actually basically at that area of resistance. And the Nasdaq as well too. The Nasdaq actually had a double bottom through here, nice reversal bar, and now with sort of low, lower trough as well too. Nice reversal bar, pop into the high side. So uh, once again, guys, we're not out of the woodwork yet. We've got a double bottom and a lower trough, so this could turn around easily and drop down through there but we also could easily run, have a rally uh, to the high side. So in this moment of time with where it's sort of not really sure what it wants to do, you know, you just got to be very careful with the trades you take and what happened because, you know, you could wake up and suddenly we have a big drop down to the downside. So, but I don't think the Fed's going to do that. Uh, it looks like the Fed wants to keep rising this market and keep popping it. So it does look like we're going to try and at least run back up towards these highs up here tomorrow. Uh, and that's what we do see overall on the market. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this market update. Just be careful with your trades out there. Even if you have to take a week or so off, then let, let this market do what, do what it needs to do to give a bit, a bit more of an overall uh, direction. But if we do fail here, guys, if we do fail, especially at the NASDAQ, if we do fail here and we start to break down and start to break below this sort of 4,900 level, then we will get a big drop down towards sort of like the 4,500 level really quickly. So just just be careful out there, guys. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Remember, success can be yours if you go climb. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today. <laughs> <laughs>